In today's Upwork Profile Review, I'm going to discuss how to improve this profile of a freelancer who is a Shopify developer, Shopify expert, Shopify Don e-commerce. I'm going to go from the top down and highlight just a couple of areas that can improve to help him get more clients. So, um, with this profile, $10 total earnings, $15 an hour. So he's in the position where it's difficult in that very little experience on Upwork does make it harder to get those first few clients, but not if you position yourself well. So we're going to look at the whole picture here to see what uh, could be added to this profile to make things stand out more. Because one completed job... Um, you know, it was a good review, so that's good. Um, but for a very small amount, right? So Shopify developer, the, my very first, um, remark is that when you're in the developer world, so Shopify expert, Shopify developer, e-commerce, let's see, custom coding, theme installation, this kind of service is worth well over $15 an hour. So if you're only charging $15 an hour, even if you're brand new to Upwork, that communicates that you're just not very good at doing development. If you're offering, if you're trying to get a job as a virtual assistant, then maybe $15 an hour is where you start. But as a developer, you really should be at the, and you're from the, you know, the UK. So it's, it's a country that has kind of similar market to America. Uh, you really should be charging $40 an hour or more. I mean, you could get up to a hundred and well above that, but if you're just beginning out, at least try to target, uh, you know, 30 at the very least, but ideally 40 or more in order to attract the clients that you want and give the impression that you are good at what you do, unless you feel that you're not that good. And maybe you've just started to learn how to do Shopify development and you're just not worth more than 15 an hour because your skills aren't there. That's something you have to evaluate for yourself. Um, but if you have the same skill level as somebody else on Upwork that's charging 50 an hour, then you should be charging that regardless of how few jobs you've had on Upwork. But you need to make up for that by having enough of a portfolio here. So it looks like you have a few things. So you have more stuff in your portfolio than you have reviews on your profile, you know, which usually shows that you've done work outside of Upwork. Whatever work you've done outside of Upwork, make sure that that is communicated on your profile so that it shows potential clients, hey, even though you've only earned a few bucks on Upwork, you have enough experience that you've had outside of Upwork to, to make up for it. Um, Shopify dollar, Shopify expert, e-commerce. I mean, the, you know, overall this title is fine. You're basically highlighting the main thing that your um, target client is looking for. Their job, I, I imagine these are hot button words in most of their job posts. Shopify expert, Shopify developer. It's very SEO friendly kind of title. Um, you might want to just consider whether you need expert in here and just do Shopify developer. Expert is more of just a general term that's overused a lot of times. Um, so you could take this one out and just have, you know, um, e-commerce is more of the category you're in. That doesn't necessarily need to be in your title. Um, now I specialize in creating high converting Shopify stores for the fashion and drinks industry. Okay. Something you've done really good is you narrow down your niche to a specific industry. If you're creating Shopify stores only for the fashion and drinks industry, then any fashion and drinks client is going to see you as an expert within that industry. And that makes you more competitive against all the other Shopify developers that aren't narrowing down on just that niche. Now, going through the rest of your intro, enabling businesses like yours to deliver an exceptional online shopping experience, resulting in an increase in sales. So there's just grammatical issues here they're going to want to fix. You don't start a sentence with the word enabling. Um, that's more something you put after a comma. Um, you could say, I enable businesses like yours. And then over here you could say, um, my work has resulted in an increase in sales. You really want to get that grammar really punched in in order to attract the kind of clients that you want to attract. That is very important. 
And then same here, creating a stunning Shopify store. Um, if you work with me, I will create a stunning Shopify store for you and your customers. Oh, is my passion. Um, you could probably just take that whole last sentence out, to be honest, and just stick with these and just change the grammar of that. Now, the Shopify services I offer, okay, it's good that you do a breakdown here because there's a lot of different areas of Shopify that you can be working within. You know, you reduce it down to a very easy to understand, you know, custom themes and then bullets within that, store setups, app integration. So this is all good. You know, this is good. This gives you a good highlight of your services. Um, now, if there's particular places in here that you feel like clients have come to you the most for or that um, you can see your target client seeking your help in more, because this looks more like, you know, from beginning to end kind of a thing. Um, and that's fine. If that's what you want to position yourself as, as, then fine, opposed to just one of these. Here's what sets me apart from the competition. I only work, you could just say, here's what sets me apart. Just stop it there. I will only work on Shopify platform and have mastered it. Um, okay. Yeah. Another grammar thing you could just say, like I specialize in Shopify only, or, um, I am a Shopify specialist. So I've mastered that platform, something like that. I'll provide you with daily updates on my progress during your project. Um, and that's good. You know, if other Shopify developers don't provide daily updates, then that could set you apart. Um, now this doesn't always need to be in the description of your profile. It could just be the thing, something you put in your proposals and you reword it based on the proposal. Um, here's what my class satisfied clients have to say. Okay. And you have some testimonials that are not in your work history here, which is good because with a lack of work history here, you have to make up for it elsewhere. Effective client communication. I'm ready to take a shop. I store the next level. Um, you don't need all this, like how to hire you. They, they already know that for the most part, it's just taking up too much space. You don't want it to be too long. This is pushing the brink of a little bit too long, but it is pretty honed in. Like it's only long because you have all these bullets that take up a lot of space. But, um, in reality it's, and then you have these testimonials in reality, it's not too long with what you have in here. Like it's not, you haven't added a lot of fluff. It's fairly to the point. We'll start with a free no strings attached consultation call so that you can discuss your project in more detail. Now, will that's a little confusing because you're pitching yourself as a single person, not as an agency. So just make sure that you're consistent in that and say, I will start with a free consultation because now they're thinking, Oh wait, are you part of a group or what's going on there? Um, look forward to speaking with you soon. Okay. So yeah, it's really just a couple of tweaks here with this intro paragraph. And then, um, you know, it's really just minor, the tweaks in here, cutting out some of the extra stuff at the end here. Um, and that should be it for your Upwork about description. Honestly, I don't think it's your about description that's preventing you from getting jobs. Um, it's probably a mixture of how you're positioning yourself and your title, reducing this down and also your proposals. If you're submitting a lot of proposals, that's something that's going to be important to look at. Um, because, uh, yeah. And if you're looking to, again, go check out my course, Upwork Mastery. If you're looking to try to hone in your proposals, cause I take you step by step on, on how to do that. But I'm going to say right now that it's not your about description on your profile. That's making you knock at clients because it's pretty good. It's not perfect. There are some tweaks, but it's not bad and it shouldn't be interfering with that. Um, so yeah, uh, honestly with it being a brand new profile, there's not much else to look at at this point. Just make sure that on your pro portfolio that you are pulling from every possible source to show the, um, not only show the, the websites you've developed, but maybe some results that your clients have had in their business because of your websites try to pull from whatever you possibly can pictures of like the websites you developed, but, um, you can pull some other additional stuff in there to show what you've, the work that you've really done. And yeah, that's it for today.